So do you remember what is our class number, guys? I'm not getting your voice. Can someone reply me? Class number? 13, I think. 13? Yes. Form personalization covered or not covered? No, sir. Okay. Follow in three steps. First, go to the supermarket to get a paintbrush. Then Okay. Um, I'm not sure the class number. Anyway, we'll rename later. If you see the playlist or Udemy or Variety Man Rap, we'll get to know. Anyway, topic name is Outbound Interface. So outbound Interface actually means the data will go out from Oracle applications. That's called as an Outbound. Inbound Interface is also there. That is, uh, data will come inside into Oracle applications. For that, we'll use SQL loader to load the data. And we'll use UTL file. And some web services also will use, like REST and SOAP. So that is, uh, and some external tables also will use. So right now, we are not focusing on this inbound interface. Outbound interface will use UTL file. UTL stands for utility, utility file it is. What I will do, so I'll show you the code first, take this code. It's easy code only, you can understand quickly. So first is what it is, you are building a procedure. Create or replace procedure, procedure name. So we can give you a procedure name. You should not have underscore all, all this like this for example okay. it mentor purchase order details details or details also date also we can use now error buff will give an error message and red code will have a status of your program whether it is a warning or error or normal that kind of thing so we already discussed about this red code earlier zero for normal 
one for warning and two for error kind of thing it is. Any concurrent program after submission. <clears throat> now you can go to your purchasing responsibility. Here is the place we request fine. So if you look at here, this error, the error code is here two, and normal is zero. And if any yellow color warning, that is for one it is zero one to only three fixed codes so without this your program will give a error saying that incorrect arguments and these are all the parameters po number from po number two so do not include any underscores that's better po number from po number two and both are input arguments so if we want to include where care, you can include it if it is not having a data. Okay. Now, so you can take your cursor. Cursor name is select statement. In this select statement, you will see all the columns. So these are all the data actually. Your vendors, it is not there for backward compatibility. You can use AP module tables. AP supplier contacts. Okay. So whatever the tables you are using here is, if this is in the PO form. Right now what I am doing is, I am extracting the data of purchase order. So this data, like PO number, supplier name, type, everything. Uh, you can simply go to record history and you'll get to know all this. Anyway, you are good at query development. Now, this is a query. And parameters you can filter like this. PO number from PO number two. Okay. So next is you have to declare a variable. This is a variable. ETL file type. Now, file name, if you want to derive, we'll pass PO numbers many times. So this is, uh, sometimes we'll pass in between 100 and 200. Sometimes we'll pass 1000 and 2000, like that it is. And whatever the path you are using, this path, it must be available into V dollar parameter. So you, should, you should not take your own path V dollar parameter where name like UTL. So here is a place. This path, this path you have to copy. Okay. Copy. Now, file name which you are already taking here, and this is write mode. W is a write mode. We are writing a data. Read also we can use. If we are loading the data inside of our class, read mode we can use. And these are all the columns. C delimiter is what it is here is. C delimiter uh, you can give here is a pipe symbol. Now, for a variable in cursor name loop. And we are putting a counter variable because we need to extract the data, like how many number of records we are extracting. And this is the actual data because the data is available in this cursor. Close it. After that, uh, these are all the history, like how many number of records uh, retrieved. And this is FND profile dot value, username, responsibility name. If I am submitting, it will populate my user. If you are submitting through purchasing, it will pick this name and switch date. These are all the standard exceptions like invalid operation. So if you, here is a place. If you take a different arguments, 
or any other syntax issues, then it will go as a invalid operation like this. An invalid path. Invalid path means other than read, write, append, if any other modes, then it will give a, sorry, uh, it will give invalid mode. Path means, as I mentioned, path must be available into this path only. In your own directory, you cannot generate a file. File handle means uh, supported files, text. These are all only to support. And when others then, SQL code, SQL ERM, these are all uh, SQL code, SQL ERM, unknown error messages will give. And ETL file F close all means whatever the file is already open, that will close automatically. As of now, what we did is I'll revise again everything, the major points. For every procedure, these two parameters are mandatory. And these are all input parameters which we will pass. This we no need to pass. Now, cursor, cursor name is select statement. It is the whole data is available here only. Now, next is your uh, begin and end. This, uh, this is called as an anonymous block. Like it doesn't have a name here. UTL file F open we are using. We are opening a file into this particular directory in a write mode. And we are writing the data. After writing it, we have to uh, put for loop here to process all the data. Then finally, whatever the file is there, that you will close it. And these are all the history. Now what we can do, we can press F5 to compile it. So compile, but with compilation errors. Check what is the error, F4. Yeah, error
Sir, we can't. Uh, sir, we can't audible to you, sir. Is it better now, Sonali? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, so where exactly you missed <coughs> procedure? While you, sir, while, while you are creating concurrent. Ah, okay, okay. So that means you have not missed much. Now, still clear, right? Bulu? Sir, yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So this is the way we can uh, create. See, actually for procedure, procedure registration, you no need to move to ser server like RDF report or control file. Directly, you can register into application. That's the point you have to remember. If you're taking package name here, package name dot procedure name, you can take it. And go to define. And then purchasing. And here is the place executable parameters. And value set. So PO number, we have to take it. I'm not sure what is the value set, which is already there. Okay, so this is our uh, institute related PO number. That's a required parameter. And the second one, <clears throat> PO number two. Required. There is no token field enabled here for procedures. Now, next is for purchasing, you have to attach to your request group. Go to security, responsibility, request. All reports, purchasing. And here is a place, attach it. Go to purchasing.
you may get some errors let's see what is the change compared to rdf re registration or uh, xml publisher registration or any other only one that is execution method pls kill stored procedure address Let's wait till it's completion. Okay, completed. View log, we have to use it. Okay, invalid number. Okay, some data types issues are there. What you can do instead of taking a number, <clears throat> you can take where carrier, where care. Here is the place. Sometimes purchase order, where care, two, where care. Let's resubmit it again. A view lock. Okay. So the file is generated. Output file size is also there. In the output, if you look at here, so these are all already printed. See, first parameter we'll see. How it is printed is, if you go to toad, here is a place. Program completed successfully for the PO. This is the first one. And second one is number of records transferred. This is the number of records transferred. And this is a file name here. File name. Okay, file name. This one we are printing. File name from where we derived? We derived here. This is the file name. Now what next? Submitted user. How operations user getting printed is by using, there is one API, that API name is fnd profile.value and fnd profile.value resp name, responsibility. You submitted from purchasing vision operation responsibility. And when you got submitted is today only, this date. Okay. So that's about the output and now we need to see the output here output where can you see go to this directory and path i already told you path directory this one the path in this path control o okay so check the date today's date if you open it, it has to give the data like this. So PO number, supplier name, supplier site, contact, item price, everything you can see here on the accrual account. It looks some data repetitive that based on the joins and all you have to filter it out. So overall here, 17,000 records. So this is the way we need to extract the data in the form of text file or, or dat file or CSV. CSV also we can do, CSV. So for example, <laughs> just only extension you change it, CSV. It is a supported format only. Okay. Then F5 again to compile it and resubmit it.
refresh check refresh it here also refresh here refresh required see this is the file okay so it is opening as a comma separated file but you can just download drag and drop into the local machine and there you can open it here in your local machine and open through csv file like this this is the way you can extract it it's not aligned properly so text is fine now we may face some issues here for example in the etl file f open for example here instead of write mode i am just taking uh, q okay it's wrongly it's not there let's see what what is the error it will give f5 then submit usually supported formats are read write append only supported formats Yes, are you able to hear me? Okay, after that, you submit it again. Bula, are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I thought uh, I lost connection. Okay. So now, if you program is completed, but if you check view log, see, it is saying here invalid mode. So, what are the supported formats as I said? The modes here either read we can use, or write we can use, or append we can use. Okay, right now I have used. W. If you are if you are loading repetitively, then we can use append. In case of inbound interfaces, read and append we can use. In case of outbound, we'll use always W. Okay. Now, for example, here, um, uh, let's say I'm removing a quote. Let's see what what it gives error. Okay, these are all syntax issues. Okay, not a problem. Uh, take. Two more arguments, for example, file size 10,000 and one more 100. It's a, it's unknown I'm giving, F5, yeah, it, it will not accept, F5. This is extra, extra parameter is there, overall four parameters here. If you just press F4, you can see. Invalid, invalid. These are all standard exceptions already there. One minute. Open. See, this is a line size it is. And it's optional. Not really required. By default it is, I already mentioned. By default it is null only. Okay. Now, Fine. Any other invalid file handle? Mode I already talked about. Path. Okay. Path will give some other path. Let's see what happens. So I'm just removing one one directory. Some I'm giving ABCD. Okay. F5. This time it will give invalid path. These are all called as an exceptions. Exception is like error handling kind of thing.
program is completed normal only the problem with the output okay invalid path it is this is called as an exception um, check again exceptions are there how many exceptions okay when others than anyway it, it must be a last identifier an internal error read error it, uh, file handle means CS uh, supported formats. Okay, if you give uh, some other MP3 chip, it may not work. Invalid operation means if something goes wrong here. I mean to say if um, util file is not closed or if you have not used util file put line. So those cases you may get error. For example, I, I'm commenting this. F5. Let's see this. What happens? What will happen here? Refresh data, view log. Okay, still invalid. Oh, okay, well, that path is not rectified, right? Sorry. First, it, it, it detected this particular output. How many types of exceptions we have seen as of now, guys, practically? no completion options were requested okay still it is generated even though you have not closed the file it is generated okay that's fine <clears throat> maybe when when you are accessing the file it may give error that's fine and another uh, point in this case is when others than it must be last identifier always if you keep initially what will happen I'm just keeping this. This question they will ask you every time. If I keep another than first, what will happen? See, it is giving an error. So what type of error it is giving? Another than. So it is giving compilation error here itself. Okay. So when others then we should not keep initially in the list. See, F5. As of now, it's successfully completed. Now, if we keep this when others then till here. Okay. This is enough. 
F5. Still, it is accepted. But if you keep in the first list, it will give a compilation error. Like this. OK? This is very important, guys, this question. When others then we, we should not keep in the first list or middle list. It must be always list. If there is no exception, then no problem. But if there are other exceptions are there, when others then we should not keep in the first list. It's important. Okay. Now let's discuss about summary, what we discussed till now. It's important, right? I will ask you questions, you answer me. That's enough. What are the red code values? Tell me, guys. I'm two, one, two. Yeah, zero, two. one, two. One. Zero meaning? Zero meaning? Zero meaning? Normal. Okay, one for quickly answer, guys. One, one for error, yeah, two yeah, for one. Right, yes. correct. Now another question. Okay. How to identify the path in which path we are going to generate a file? Tell me. V dollar. Dollar parameter. No, no, not version. V dollar parameter. Parameter. Okay. Now next is how to populate username, resp name, responsibility name, and one more is parent date. Tell me. Parent date, sys date. Sys date. That's correct. Username. There is an API. Do you remember that? Okay. I'll show you. Don't worry. This is the one. FND. Yes. FND. Foundation profile. Okay. For responsibility, resp name. Next. How many types of exceptions we have? You have to follow sequence, but common. Copy paste you can do. How many types of ex exceptions we have? One is related to mode. Path. Other one is related to operation. Path. And one more is file related and read related. One more is network issue, internal error. And finally, when? Others then. then. If you keep when others then in the first list, it will give a compilation error. Okay? Practically also we have seen today. Now, how many modes we have? Read, write, and one more? Append. 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 Append we have not seen practically. Only write we have seen. And uh, finally, uh, procedure registration steps we have seen. This is important. How to register a procedure or package? You no need to move to any one of the server like RDF or you, uh, control file and all. So straight away, you can go to system administrator. You will create a executable. And then second is program. And third is add to refresh group. And finally, submit it. Tulsi, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So these are all the points only we talked about. Okay. Just four points, correct? Yes. Now check. What are what will happen here if you don't take this error buff red code? This is also important, right? Practically, F5. So, one in compiled. Okay, when others, then I, I will take at last and then I will submit it again. You play with the output, guys, then only you will see a different, different result. Good knowledge. Now I have removed that error of red code. Let's see what will happen. 
it will not give any compilation error but runtime error you may get like this so expected uh, uh, error is some arguments related only let's see wrong number or type of arguments wrong number of arguments you just remember this wrong number or types of arguments arguments means parameters so definitely if you want to register any procedure into application without fail you have to include these two parameters okay parameters are error buff and red code and what will happen if i change the order see this is all whatever i am asking questions i faced from someone so it will be useful let's see F5 I'm using to create this procedure, function 5. So I'm changing the reverse order. Just misplacing. F5. Now submit it. Okay, view log. We output. Okay, it is generated. So if you misplace, also nothing will happen, and it will identify. <clears throat> Red code first, error buff next. Also fine, no worries. So okay, guys. So I am closing the session. I'll send this file. Uh, still, if you have a time after dinner. Till 11, I'll be awake. If you have any questions, you can ask me. We'll, if you practice, it will be better. Tomorrow also, I'm thinking to take a class. Okay? That's about the outbound interface. I'll give you two, three assignments, or I'll help you. Or I'll explain it. Outbound interfaces. So everything I mentioned here only. Okay? Easy topic, right? So I'm ending the session, guys. Do you have any doubts? Thanks for joining after many days. So I, I'm thinking to close very quickly all the pending topics. So it won't take much time. Please be available a few days. OK? OK, sir. Any, any doubts before closing?